Over the recent Christmas holidays, I was gifted some very nice bottles. Scotch whiskey is very grateful to receive them. I was also gifted these four bottles of flavored whiskeys and challenged to review them on the channel. And so today, for your enjoyment, I present uh, my tasting. I will rank these uh, flavored whiskeys. We will see if it can possibly get worse than Fireball. It starts right now. My whiskey journey has taken me to Scotland and back. I've explored whiskey education, tastings, and distilleries from Isla to Speyside. And now my journey continues here with you on Whiskey Whereabouts. So our whiskeys are open and breathing, and I cannot describe to you how sweet what is coming off these glasses as I sort of lean over and talk to you uh, with four of these of us, like walking through the sort of ice cream parlor and ice cream shop. But while we let them breathe here, let's um, consider what it is that we are sampling and why I keep um, air quoting the term whiskey. We're dealing with flavored whiskeys. It's a subcategory of whiskey. So we're talking about whiskey, not necessarily straight whiskey, just whiskey that has natural flavors added, maybe sugar, maybe not, not required, not, not prohibited, but it only has to be 30%. So only one of these uh, flavored whiskeys that we have today is above 40%. Each of these whiskeys that we have is identified by one predominant flavor. So we have the cinnamon. The next in our flight is peanut butter flavored whiskey. Then we have bourbon blended with honey liqueur in the uh, form of this Evan Williams honey. And then we have another cinnamon with a higher ABV. We'll start with the most probably familiar of this group, which is Fireball is a very popular flavored whiskey. It is 33% ABV flavored whiskey that started out at some point in the process, I believe as Canadian whiskey, then diluted down to lower ABV with additives. Those additives include cinnamon flavor, they include sugar, um, which is very obvious just from the nose from this distance. There is a, uh, you know, one of these, what is the most popular in your state type of things online. And, you know, what is the most popular liquor in your state and these, I don't know how scientific any of these types of polls are, but I understand that online, 25% of the uh, states identified this uh, product as their favorite liquor. So we, uh, the first thing we know is we need to get some more subscribers in those states um, to kind of lead them along uh, the path here. Yeah, I mean, it's it's big red. It's, it's sugar, cinnamon, gum. There's no whiskey character here at all. So here we go, going in on the fireball. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, such a nice finish. Finish is not short. Unfortunately, it stays with you. It is, it is uh, exactly like uh, having one of those, um, uh, whatever they're called, those, those round sort of red hard candies of cinnamon in, in your mouth. Like it, it's just coated the mouth with that sweet fake kind of, you know, saccharin cinnamon kind of taste. There is a sort of unpleasant uh, bitter note that's part of it. Um, the heat, you know, is described on the, you know, this fiery imagery, red hot, um, ignite the night, um, it, it, it says on the back, uh, is mostly from that cinnamon flavor. You know, obviously it's 33%. So this is the Sheepdog Peanut Butter Whiskey, and it is presented at 35% ABV, or as it says on the label, 70 woof. And it is another product from the Sazerac company, the parent company that gave us the Fireball. So, uh, going in on the peanut butter whiskey now. Oh boy. <laughs> Popcorn, much, much more than peanut butter. It's savory, it's kind of salty butter. Again, not getting a lot of the whiskey sort of elements here. Yeah, it's not very pleasant. Um, it, it is, it is that, that savory kind of note and underneath a sort of unpleasant kind of sour note. This is not inviting. Um, I can see why, you know, this, this may have an appeal. It, it tastes like cinnamon candy, cinnamon gum. It's, it's not for me, but I understand. This, this nose is not very welcoming. 
So let's see if the palette is any different here. Mm. Mm. Okay, it's it's really it's terrible. Um, this I don't I don't understand why anybody would drink this. This is terrible. It's not a pleasant taste. It doesn't really have a rich sort of peanut butter. It's bitter and sour. It's not good. Okay, so having gotten through that, um, I'm happy to say that we're at the sample that had the most sort of optimism about going in uh, to this um, because it's Evan Williams Honey, which is Evan Williams Bourbon blended with a honey liqueur. And so uh, we have a sort of recognizable bourbon. Um, it is a straight bourbon, so it's been aged two years, but uh, we do have the mash bill, and we are coming in at 35%, having been so diluted a little bit, having been blended with that liqueur. Usually the liqueur is a lower ABV, it's usually like 15%, so that, that sort of blend has brought us down to this 35%. Okay, so going in on the nose on this Evan Williams. And yes, there's honey, but the big flavor just roaring off of this is orange and it's orange liqueur, it's Grey Marnier. There's a little spice to it. You really have to way, you know, make your way past the, the honey. You've got to get past the, the, that huge orange note to find the bourbon note underneath. To me, this has been perfectly decent bourbon. It's been sort of ruined by, by having this liqueur poured into it, but, but at least it's recognizable as something that ha in some some level is bourbon, is whiskey. On the palate, let's see what changes. It is so dominated by this sort of liqueur flavoring. And it is honey, uh, but it's not the sweetest honey in the world. I'm getting some of the oak and I think I'm getting there's a pepperiness bordering on cinnamon. And I don't know if I'm contaminated because I've got all this awful cinnamon flavor on both sides of the, this flight coming at me. The finish brings back a bloom of that orange again. It, it's, it's, it's unmistakable. It's that orange liqueur. And as that fades, it does feel like the remnants of honey. This is obviously not for me. It's better than what we've had so far, but not that much. Um, but it does have a not unpleasant finish, I would say. I'd say the palette's pretty bad. Okay, on to the last sample, one that I'm actually a little bit intrigued by um, for this flight, um, because it is 45.6% um, presentation. So we have a, a what would be a respectable uh, presentation for for a proper whiskey, right? At, at, at bordering 46%. Um, again, unfortunately, it is um, cinnamon flavored whiskey. This is the Cinerator, and it is described as hot cinnamon whiskey, whiskey with natural flavors. This is a Heaven Hills uh, branded product. We obviously have more alcohol here at more than 12 points higher uh, than the Fireball. So, are we gonna have something resembling whiskey flavor because of the presence of that higher ABV? We're gonna find out. Yeah, this is, um, it is hotter, I can tell. Underneath all the flavor, there is a little bit of heat coming off of it. It's not very, but it's there. Other than that, we're back to Big Red again. It's, it's the cinnamon gum, sort of that real kind of just cinnamon flavoring, that really sweet candy cinnamon, not like real cinnamon spice. I kind of know what I'm looking for, so I may be projecting it, but there is a whiskey-like element underneath the cinnamon in this one. So now we're gonna try uh, the palette on the Cinerator and see how it compares. I tried to hold it you know, on the palate as long as I could because I kept trying so hard to find something. Um, and all it is is cinnamon mouthwash. This is cinnamon candy. This is cinnamon gum. This is cinnamon mouthwash. It has a little bit of that alcohol element. 
but the whiskey, whatever it was in its original incarnation, has been completely, completely wiped away and contaminated by the cinnamon flavoring. The finish is just another, uh, it's just, it's almost the same finish as this one. That 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 cinnamon kind of hard candy dissolving with a little bit um, more intensity. It's not great. None of this was. Um, so now we have to rank them uh, for the dubious honor of being the champion of this flight. And I got to tell you, the, the first and last are really, really easy. Um, it's, it's no contest. This is the worst of these. This peanut butter thing is awful. Um, I, 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 I don't know why anybody would, would, would drink that. Um, this is the closest thing to an actual whiskey, so it's number one. Obviously, it was a little disappointing, frankly. Um, I, I expected it to be bourbon with some fake honey mixed in. Um, that is really not how it presents. It, it presents as that liqueur with a little bit of bourbon mixed in. But some, some, some reasonable flavor notes. Um, then the cinnamons are in the middle. This one's better. It has something. This is pretty bad, but I was really surprised. The big, the big twist uh, here at the end of this is that Fireball wasn't the worst. And... That's as good a note as any to end on this. I, I'm, I'm gonna have a big glass of water and then I'm gonna have a really nice glass of real scotch whiskey. Um, if you enjoyed watching me uh, suffer through this, um, I'd love it if you subscribed. You won't miss any of the future videos where we'll be talking about real whiskey, I promise. Uh, on the channel, you can uh, subscribe. You press this big button, it's gonna pop up right over here. And I will see you on the next one.